digging, loop in here, um, hiking to the spout. So I've uh, started on Shoal Bay Road in the Goulds and I'm going to the spout on the East Coast Trail. It's a 6.6 .6 kilometer hike just to get to the trail. And I'm going in uh, about five, five and a half kilometers from there, camping overnight, and then return. So I figure somewhere around 22, 24 kilometers. Right on the coast here, you can see the waves. And the Tuckamore trees, spruce or fir that are just ravaged by the wind. And I'm heading up the coast that way. Well guys, I've been using the, the gear grams list online, uh, keeping track of everything that I pack. And I'll make notes of stuff that I used or didn't use, so next time, uh, if I didn't need it, I won't take it. Last trip, uh, I didn't have my video camera. It wasn't working, the batteries were dead. Uh, myself and uh, Mini Finn went on a hike. And we took our... Uh, our list and I pared it down again. So for today I'm down to 23.8 uh, pounds. That includes everything. The waves crashing in. Nice. See how the trees are all bent over from the wind? Pretty wild. Little uh, gold chair. Fuckamores up there. Down. Way out. Beautiful picture. Oh, yeah. Guys, off in the distance, you can see the spout. There she goes. We go again another few seconds. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm just about to the spout. Another kilometer or two to go. Um, still a beautiful day. Just overcast. Still about 17 degrees. And what a view. There's a beaver lodge. Right there. Got a little stream all dammed up. And uh, lots of old trees. Not off. They're pretty big too. And I'll put my uh, boot there for reference. A lot of big birch. There you go. Okay guys, we're at the spout. What? What the spout is, is a river running down here goes under the rock and as the waves from the ocean come in it pushes the water back up through a little blowhole there that's cool
guys, cooking up some supper. I got some of my uh, bluefin, nine bean, and rice um, casserole. Did a video on that earlier. Um, got some beef jerky, homemade beef jerky. I'm gonna slice that up, put it in the nine bean. Got the uh, mini atomic in the Virgo. Let's see how we're doing. Um, not yet. I just slice up some uh, turkey there now. Hey guys, here's my uh, nine bean and rice with some beef jerky. Let it sit in the pot for 15 minutes. Actually, I uh, covered it with boiling water. Let it sit in the pot for 15 minutes. Kept it in the little um, freezer bag. No mess that way. It's really good. That's this little Virgo stove. I uh, just laid it on a little rock. There's a dandy little fire. Start out with a few small twigs, then go up to a little bit of pencil size, then about the size of your finger. And uh, burns great. Nice and hot. Morning gang. It was a great night. Uh, it was very windy. A lot of rain. But I stayed nice and toasty warm in my new uh, burrow. And um, kept the tarp, kept me dry. It's a perfect night. Excellent. Uh, time for a cup of tea and a bit of breakfast there now. Well guys, it's a uh, pretty wet misty morning. I stayed nice and dry. So what I'm going to do is uh, pack up the uh, sleeping gear, leave the hammock up and uh, cook under that, or leave the fly up and cook under the fly. I got my uh, water boiled for a cup of tea and uh, I'm nice and dry here under the tarp. It's great to be at uh, one of the East Coast Trails campsites where they got these tent platforms. Um, perfect for setting up over. You got a nice little sitting area. It's a really miserable morning out. Heavy, heavy mist. Now just get some uh, fresh water to boil up for another cup of tea. Ideal. Just a few feet from the campsite. <coughs> little bucket one of my friends gave me. Dandy. Holds uh, 10 liters, 9 liters, it's, uh, 10 liters. Foggy. Heavy mist. I got my poncho on. Legs are going to be soaked. It's uh, heavy seas out there today. Thanks for nice scenery.
almost done on the trail. Just got to walk across these uh, rocks. It is part of the trail, believe it or not. The waves are pretty big out there today. Starting to get a little bit of blue sky. Well gang, I'm just about to the end of the trail, um, Shelby Road, Old Road. Uh, I might walk a few more kilometers into Goulds, the call for a ride home. I didn't, uh, didn't know exactly what time I'd be done, so I said I'd call my wife once I got to uh, Civilization. Since I don't use a cell phone, i got to find a phone. Hey anyway, gang, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave some comments, stuff you like, stuff you didn't like, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Do for now.